YouTube, YouTube, this is your boy Sherman RC, I'm back. First, I'd like to say happy Thanksgiving to all the people that's uh, on YouTube, for, uh, and also I thanks for all the subscribers that subscribe to me and the people who are actually watching my video. And I see this new thing, like uh, YouTube going through, tell, asking us if, if our channels is for kids or a family oriented or some sort. But mine's are for kids and and for adults. So I try to keep it PG thirteen, but at the same time, it's just like. You might catch a little glimpse of my Corona bottle in there, so I say this is not for kids. Sorry. So if kids see this video, um, it's up to your parents to let you watch. All right, people. I just finally got that box in that I've been waiting on. I was telling you guys about. And Woogie, I saw your painting in your... In your in your cabinet, sir. I mean, on your refrigerator in your nitro barn. Dallas Cowboys. I'm also a Dallas Cowboys fan. And look what my painter did for me. Look at that body, will you? E. Smith. I don't even want to cut it, will you? I don't want to cut that body. Look at that. He detailed that thing. Dallas Cowboy fan. Look at that, people. I have an awesome painter. Awesome. Yeah. Got that thing looking good. Look at that. I'm a fan of Emmy Smith all day. Yeah, people, look at that. And he asked me that he could have put some more detailing on it, like the trophies that we won and all that back in the days, but I told him that was enough. This right here was good enough. That's awesome, people. Look at that paint job on there. I'm talking about, look at that blue. Look how he put that number in there, people. Right, that's part of the unboxing piece. Yep. Finally got my box from the main harbor. They sent me some free Potex stickers. Yep. Put that over there. I got that uh, Riz original clutch. This is my second one. Yep. Four shoe clutch, 34 millimeter. Yeah. Off road kit version. This the part number, people. If you want to order it, the good clutch system. And I have that on that Riz R5R right now. Yeah, people. Good clutch system. Yep. Yeah. Also, order some uh, clutch shoes. For that system, for both of them, a set for each one of them. That's the part number for the clutch shoe. And people, they so they they so awesome, man. They sent me just, I guess they just did this. Send me these spring, these one point I I didn't even order these people. They, they just sent these to me. Free. That's part number for the springs. One millimeter. I know. I think both of them probably the same. Yep. It's one point oh spring, and I guess that would be the medium spring for that. People. Then I also bought the magnetic pit mat. I need one of these people because I keep dropping my screws on the floor and then I got to get down while I'm wrenching on my car. 
to find a screw. Now, since while I'm wrenching, and the screw fall is not going nowhere. It's gonna stay right here on that. And then this thing got the, it has the um, bearings on there. You can find what size bearings you're using on that thing. You got a measuring on there. Never seen anyone, but this is the part number for it, people. Magnetic pit mat, ten by eleven. They have one that's smaller too, but I, I wanted the big one. Yep. Then I had to also get a starter box for the truck. AE starter box was okay, but I got to set. It, it, it's good for my buggy. It's not not the truck. So I had to get some for the truck. And I was going back and forth with the Losi one and the Sure Start. So, but I had I saw good reviews on the Sure Start. So. I went ahead on did it. Then the Sure Start was cheaper than Low C2. Not only that, people, it was cheaper, but then you can get a lot of parts for this one. I hear two also on the, at A Main. So that's why I chose that one. And then I had to buy me a pit mat. See all you guys with those pit mats, man. And I don't have one. Now I have a table in my room. And when I get done with my little man, my little man cave in there because my daughter, she done moved out. So I'm taking over her room for making my nitro cave. And so then my, my lovely wife done ordered me a GoPro. So I'm about to start making some decent videos now, people. Running videos so I won't have to hold my phone in my hand. I can do one of those Rogers or those Woogies now. Get some good footage and I can take it everywhere. And I ain't got to worry about my phone dropping, cracking, and all that type of stuff. So I got this pit mat right here. And this good pit mat. Then it come with the little bag. I can take it anywhere. Roll it up. Take it with me. Because I use my truck, so. Yep. And these are the batteries I chose to have with it. Like I said, I don't mess with the lipo. I, I do the lifey, but not the lipo. So I, I tried. I took the venom battery that came you know that was one of the recommended batteries they had come with it 16 million so i had to get two of them to run so a good price on these two people oh we getting down there to grand for now i just bought some more of these right here i love these uh wing uh these are uh, wing buttons yeah, for extra large ones blue ones yeah you know that's that's going to be for that next project. So, people, like I said one time before, when you see me start buying extra parts, I don't be buying those parts for nothing. I have some in store for them. But these are what, what I'm really talking about. People, look at those, both of those red engines I was telling you guys about. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this right here. I just bought some more body clips just to have some extra ones. That's for the truggy. Yeah. They use their carbon up racing carbon fiber body protectors right here, the washers. Like I showed you guys that was on the back of the um Team Durango. And I also gonna add some now to the um hurricane. <laughs> yep, people. And go on open that engine. Okay. And the stickers in there. Yep. There go that WR5. Look at that thing there. It's the WR5, people. DLC coded. You see that? That's DLC coded, people. With the black diamond back. Ceramic bearings. Swiss made. This gonna be that race engine for that Team Durango buggy, but that R five R gonna be a bag up there. I'm not done there, people. See that Mario did a little signature. You know, you send you all of this stuff that come with it. Yeah, I'm not done there though. Look what your boy R Sherman R C the one he got. Bam! Another R five R. 
love these things. These things got some power to them. Yep. Made in Italy. That's Mario's signature right there. Not DLC Cola, but everybody should know that. But they still have that uh, HCX carburetor on it. Yeah. Let the R5 bar, people. I told you guys when I get all this stuff in, so now, people, I'm done. I'm just, I'm done for the winter. My winter shopping is over. Yep. But I'm going to do a, another video because I'm going to open this one up. And I see that I'm going to do the comparison on the internal. But it's supposed to be different from the R5R, so I'm going to do the comparison on this on the internals of this. I'm talking that thing up. Look at that thing, people. Lighting head on it. That thing look good. Yep. That thing look good, people. Sorry about that, people. I didn't put it in the video. I'm looking. I'm I told you when I get excited, man, it's just like, yeah. So, you done seen all my new engines and I done, I done purchased for the winter, people. Yep. 1.25 and 3.21. Yeah. I'm done now. For a while. I'm done for a while. But I really need that starter box, though. I really needed this shoe store. Yeah. So whenever I get to line it up with the truggy, and um, pretty sure it's like a lot of videos I did to show you how to take the engine out. You know, line it up, make sure you you get the the wheel just right, ride height on it, so it can be hit the flywheel. Yeah, when I get all that set, but I'm I'm gonna end up setting this too. Also, I noticed because this is the one I'm gonna take to the track with me, so I'm gonna make marks on it. To be able to set it for with the um, Team Durango buggy too, also people. So while I'm running the buggy and the truggy, I want to use this when I'm out on the track. Cause I'm thinking about putting that truggy on the track too, but it's still gonna be my bash buggy. I just want to see how it run on the track too, also. Yeah. So that's that. That's that red, man. That's that red. That's what I was telling you people I was gonna get, man. So when I started buying stuff, because you know I had already bought the clutch belt, I'm going to run with it. Yep. Got that clutch belt. Let me take that thing out of the clutch. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That look at that DLC coated. DLC coated, baby. I don't like them bearings, but I got an extra protect in there, people. I'll switch that bad boy out, especially out the break in. I'm going to do break in on it, and then out the break in, it's coming out. Ceramic going to be his front, because this front bearing is not ceramic. But look at that, what does it say, black dime in the back, please. look at that. Yes, indeed. She look good, people. You know, like I said, I'm going to do another video. I'm going to take it apart. Take the R5R apart so we can do a comparison on it. And I'm going to take that, um, take out three of them apart. I'm going to take that, uh, Benito apart too also. So we can look at the internals on all of them. So y'all can see what I see. Yeah, people. Yep, yeah, you're Sherman RC. I'm out. Later.